So right here we have the Curly Crow Goes Camping hardcover book right here. This was written by Nicholas Aragon, and while we were traveling through New Mexico, we actually met him at a farmer's market, and he was, you know, trying to sell his books and whatnot, and so he gifted us a few of his, his best ones right here, and so I figured I'd make a few videos for him. So this right here is Curly Crow Goes Camping, and I gotta say, he really took what his mom started, which was this first book right here, and just amped it up to the next level. So just to give you guys a good comparison, and this is what uh, the first book looks like as far as just text and artwork and all that kind of stuff. This is uh, what the original one was right here. So then <clears throat> Nicholas took this. First of all, dedicated the book to his family and his mom. Loved that. But uh, it's about their camping trip. And you can see how he just really amped up the artwork there. It's a lot more like big and vibrant. Uh, kids, I think, will relate to it a little bit easier. Uh, the words right here are nice and in the white spaces right here, so you can easily read through. The story here is great. You have uh, two crows that are going on a, uh, a camping trip. They're tired of eating out of the dumpster all the time, but they took their food with us. But throughout the trip, or uh, whenever they were going, they lost a lot of the food. It fell out of the sack. And so while they're camping, they lit the fire, and then they realized they were hungry. They only had marshmallows left. They had to go out the next day and... Uh, figure out how they can find food and the dad comes back one day with worms he's like you know back before we had we had the dumpster we had to go out searching for our food we had to find worms we had to look through the bark and to, to, of trees to get ants and all that type of stuff so it kind of brings you back to a place where uh Every, not everything's always given to you right whenever you want it, and you have to actually go out and find stuff. So I love that life lesson that uh, they, they're teaching in there. And then also also about the adventure of like going out and doing something new. Going camping is what they did. It's a two-night camp stay that they did. And, uh, and just how they came together as a uh, father and child right there. And then, of course, at the end, they come back home to the mom, and she tells her all about the adventure. So... Love that. This is uh, Nicholas right there who created Curly, or, or I guess who kept Curly Crow alive <laughs> after what his mom started with it. And uh, just a fantastic book. They did it really well. If y'all are looking for a great book, it says on the back here for ages four to eight, which I would say that that is spot on right there. Y'all definitely need to go and check out The Curly Crow Goes Camping, especially if you're like about to go camping. <laughs> it's be a great book just to kind of get some excitement going. So definitely go and grab y'all that if that's something that you're looking for. Thank y'all for watching and dad out.